Hey, my name is Fernando, and I'm the Technical Marketing Manager here at GitLab. Today I'm going to show you the security dashboard and how it can work for you. The security dashboard is a great place to get an overview of all the security vulnerabilities within your group, project, or pipeline. It's used to manage vulnerabilities where you can drill down into each vulnerability and obtain detailed information which you can use to analyze your risk. This overview of your vulnerabilities is crucial in making sure that the vulnerabilities in your applications are being handled properly and not making their way into your production environment. In this video, I'm going to show you how the security dashboard ties in with developer and security team workflows. Here's the typical developer workflow. I went ahead and pushed the merge request. Within that merge request, I see that the SAS scan has detected three vulnerabilities. There's one of these vulnerabilities that I can't fix immediately, so I'm going to create an issue so I can know to work on it later. All I have to do is click on the Create Issue button and an issue is created. This issue contains detailed information on the vulnerability as well as its location. From there you can create a confidential merge request to work on a fix. Also note that this is a confidential issue and only those with proper permissions can view it. These issues can also be seen and created from the security dashboard which I will show in a later section. Within the same pop-up, vulnerabilities can also be dismissed. I'm going to dismiss this vulnerability because I already created an issue to work on it later. I'll add a comment and then click the Add Comment and Dismiss button to go ahead and dismiss this. Now you can see that the vulnerability has been crossed out. I'm going to go ahead and perform a merge and show you what it all looks like in the security dashboard. I can access the security dashboard in the security and compliance tab. This is the security dashboard scoped towards the project. You can see that each vulnerability is assigned a severity level. This is automatically assigned by the scanners. You can sort by the severity of the vulnerability as well as by the report type. By clicking on the Hide Dismiss button, you can display all the vulnerabilities which were dismissed. Notice how the dismissed vulnerabilities are grayed out. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on the vulnerability I dismissed earlier. The pop-up provides detailed information on the vulnerability, such as its location and a reference to see how to resolve it. It also provides a reference to the issue that we created earlier. Clicking on that issue will take us directly towards the confidential issue we created earlier. If no issue was created, then there would be a button saying create issue. We can also see that it was dismissed by me as well as the reason why I dismissed it. This is very useful for auditing and making sure that things are not being incorrectly dismissed. If you go to the Security and Compliance tab at the group level, you can see the group view of the security dashboard. You can see all the vulnerabilities detected within a group, how many vulnerabilities have been introduced over time, and the report card of the security statuses within a project. Here you can also sort by severity, as well as report type. You can also sort by specific projects, such as the one we were just in. Here, unhiding dismissed vulnerabilities is also an option. Here's a few things we've learned about the security dashboard. To keep up to date, check out about.gitlab.com and be sure to subscribe. Here at GitLab, everyone can contribute.